Guys, something that I think you're gonna absolutely love about the Shining Elite scanner is how well it performs with removables. Even when taking the Mod Denture record system, which is essentially a centric tray attached to a bite rim with a inner pupil A bar, Fox plane, and midline bar. You could use this from our website. You could download it from free and check out the tutorials, but in the Elite scanner software, you're gonna set it up as full denture and bite rim. Make sure you select bite rim when using it. Look at how fast this scanner performs. Here I am using AI off, and it also does, even with the AI off, have a little bit of an auto correction feature where, like right there, it, it does tend to fix and heal small errors in your scan, which I think is absolutely incredible. This is real time scan speed here. I try to show real time scan speed when using this scanner so that you guys can see how I'm going about scanning these arches in the real world. Now, what I like to do is get all my attached tissues, and then I go back and delete most of my movable tissues with the eraser tool, and then I focus on getting those movable tissues in one fluid uh, motion without having any type of positioning errors with my retractors. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and put my special removable retractors in place here and recapitulate that border border scan on the patient's um, right side. So here I'm gonna get the hamular notch area and I'm trying to get right into the hamular notch, get that buckle fold there. And I'm going all the way to the anterior zone. I'm gonna stop at midline. Um, that is a really good border scan with, with uh, my tutorials on YouTube, you could check out how I analyze these borders for making a denture, but it has to do with the muscle fiber attachments and the capillaries and all the things that you could see, like the fovea palatini. You could see the even minor accessory salivary glands in the palate. On the mandible, you start at midline and you go all the way up to retromolar pad, at least even up to the pterygo <clears throat> mandibular raffae, and then you go into the retromylohyoid fossa. This is a difficult scan um, in this particular case you want to make sure that you don't go back and forth over and over again. Uh, you want to try to get it in as few passes as possible. Um, and so here we now are starting back at the midline to pick up and I switched grips on my retractor and now I'm going to go back to the contralateral retromolar pad, retromylohyoid fossa back here, extending deep into that area for maximum retention and then back to the midline. And then from this now, we have to capture the patient's uh, vertical dimension and centric relation position. And this is where the mod denture record system comes into play. It's a, it's a putty mush bite. You do the maxillary index first, and then you'll do the mandibular index after the maxillary sets up. And you're going to treat this as a record based in the software. So you're going to scan it all as one giant complex. So here I am scanning them maxillary side of the putty, triple tray, centric tray bite, whatever you want to call it. This has been around since the 1950s. They used to use plaster to do this, and now we're using putty in a light body wash, but it's all the same concepts of a dead soft material with a centric relation bite at the proper vertical. The tray does have a clip in the front that snaps into that fox plane. That helps you orientate the maxillary index so that you don't um, accidentally cant the tray, which would cause an interference when you take a centric relation bite. But you're going to go ahead, and this is real time. This thing's just flying. I don't think I can move my hand any faster. My, my brain can't calculate where I'm going. So um, this scanner scans as fast as you can move your hand, and it doesn't get lost. It's incredible. And so now what, what the magic, though, is that once you scan this, and this is what other software struggle with, and what the Shining Elite nails, it's gonna automatically align the maxillary and mandibular scans to this tray. There's no need to do it in ExoCAD or 3Shape or pin it manually. And it even gives you, look at automatic alignment there, and it even gives you a color-coded heat map of the accuracy of the alignment. This is something that has been with an update. It is absolutely phenomenal. It gives you a peace of mind. Um, you can hover your mouse anywhere over and see the accuracy of the alignment. And it also color codes it for you. But look, now the 
edentulous arch scans are at the proper vertical as we determined but the putty mush bite and centric relation and what's cool is if you watch any of my tutorials all this could be pinned to photographs that we made with that tray in place and 3d face scans and so basically you eliminate the need for uh, a true record base, this patient came in with no teeth and left with teeth on the very same day. We were able to do these records like this and give him a, uh, a denture that same day that he was waiting. So this is something that I think is super incredible. Digital technology and with this scanner, you could basically do anything. The sky's the limit. I hope this helps you and I can't wait to see how you're going to change the way you do dentures with the digital dentures and 3D printing workflows and leveraging modern scanners like the Elite.